Hi, welcome back to PSOE Math Real Estate Lesson. Now today we are going to continue looking at uh, another method, which is uh, which is a very uh, which is not a very common method, uh, which means that uh, you don't really see this kind of method being used often. Uh, it's called gaps and interval. So usually for most questions in the exam, or seldom. Uh, seldom do you see a lot of gaps and interval. Maybe once in a while, <laughs> once in a while you will see a question like that. Uh, sometimes exam papers may not even have these gaps and interval. Uh, so it's not really a commonly used method. But you still have to know <coughs> what are gaps and interval so that you can solve the problem if it comes out in the exams. All right. So what are gaps and interval? Okay. Now let's look at practice one, and I'm gonna use the practice one. Uh, the practice problem. Uh, to show you what are gaps and interval. So the Mrs. Tan printed a piece of cloth onto the class notice board using some pins. And the figure shows part of the notice board. Pins are placed at equal distance on the perimeter of the notice board. And the distance between every two pins is 10 cm. Pins are also placed at the four corners of the notice board. So how many pins are used? Now this is the advanced problem, right? Uh, so I've actually selected a problem that is quite advanced. Uh, usually when you learn gaps and interval, <coughs> you will start with something quite simple. Uh, but I'm using this question, which is at primary, four, primary five level, uh, which is a little advanced. Uh, so to do this question, uh, there are two things that you need to understand. Number one, gaps and interval, and then number two, Overlapping. All right, there's something to do with overlapping in this problem. Uh, so what are the gaps and intervals? Now the gaps refers to the empty spaces between two pins. All right. So if you see empty space, that is called a gap. Right. A gap refers to the distance. And uh, what do you call the gap? So you call it one unit. So a gap is called an interval, and it means that uh, the empty space in between. The every two pins. So there are many pins all right, along the length of the rectangle, so there will be many empty spaces. So your job is to find how many gaps. Okay, how many gaps are there? Uh, so if one gap, <coughs> one gap is 10 centimeter, okay, one gap. Okay, one gap is 10 centimeter, uh, then how many gaps are there? How many gaps will there be if there is a length of 320 centimeter, which is the length of the rectangle? So you take 320 divided by 10, you will have 32 gaps. So that is called a gap, a gap. All right, but you need to also know how many pins along the length of the rectangle. So to find the pins, the number of pins on the length of the rectangle, you always have to plus one. So 32 gaps, and then you plus one, and you will get 33 pins on on the length of the rectangle. So a good example is to show your fingers. Right, your fingers, there are five fingers on your hand. Uh, so there are five fingers, how many gaps in between the five fingers? Four, there are four gaps. And without counting the gaps, actually, right, without counting how many gaps between, between your fingers, you just take the five fingers minus one to get four gaps. So the lesson here, right, the idea here, the concept here is to know how to find the gaps by taking how many, how many fingers minus one to get how many gaps. So on the other hand, uh, you also have to find how many fingers. So if I have four gaps, then how to find the fingers? You take the gaps and then you plus one. So you plus one to get how many, how many fingers. So likewise, in this problem, I have 33, uh, I have 32 gaps. So how do I get how many pins? I plus one to get how many pins. So which means that from here, until the end of the, 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 the length of the rectangle, there are 33 pins. So over here, same thing, on the opposite side, you also have 33 pins. Okay, 33, 33. Okay, now, then the next thing is to find how many gaps or how many pins on the breadth, on the breadth of the rectangle. So if you look carefully, if one gap again is 10 cm, and the breadth of the rectangle is 80 centimeter, then how many gaps are there? So there must be eight gaps. So if there are eight gaps, then how many pins? Then you plus one, eight plus one to get nine pins. So you have nine pins on the length, okay? Nine pins on the breadth, sorry, on the breadth of the rectangle. So on the other side, okay, on the other side here, you also have nine, okay, nine pins, okay? All right, so once you get all this already. Now the common mistake that most students will make is they will add up all the pins. 
Alright, and then they get the answer. So 33 plus 33 plus 9 plus 9. So that is a common mistake that most students will or will make because they forgot something that is an overlap. <laughs> that's an overlap. What is overlap? For example, on the on this length of the rectangle, there's a pin at the corner. On the breadth of the rectangle, there is also there is also the same pin, right? On the breadth of the rectangle. So these two pins are actually the same pin because they overlap at the corner. Okay, for example, over here, you can see that there's a pin along the length of the rectangle at the corner. At the same corner, you have the same pin, right? The same pin. So the two corner pins, the two, I mean the corner, right? The corner, you have the same pin, right? The same pin actually, all right? So which means that there is an overlap. Okay, there's an overlap. So let me just undo the, undo all this. All right, so you need to understand that for this kind of picture, there is an overlap that you need to recognize. All right, overlap. So then what must you do? Then you have to remove, okay, removes, remove something. So let's remove. So how to remove? Okay, now, if you look carefully, you can add them all together, add up all the pins together, all right? So you have 33, okay, 33 plus 33, plus nine plus nine and you get a total of how many pins so you will get uh, all right you will get 84 pins which is not the answer of course because it includes the the, 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 the pins that overlap so then what do you do next you can see that uh, all right you need to take out one pin from here take out one pin because it's the same pin right same pin so you must take out one pin from this corner you must also take out one pin from this corner. You must also take out one pin from this corner. And then you must also take out one pin from this corner. Right? So how many pins must you take out? You must take out four pins. So 84 minus four. So how many pins are there actually being used? There are actually 80 pins being used. So this problem is a kind of a the advanced kind of question is a little, uh, little more things to look at because you have something called overlapping. Uh, but otherwise, you have to also understand what is gaps and interval. Gaps and intervals refer to the what? They refer to the empty spaces in between, in between the, the two pins. And the gaps also refer to the distance, the length, okay, the length or the distance. And then if there's overlapping, how do you know whether, whether something is overlapping when they fall on the same place? Like you have a pin, at this end of the line, at the corner, you also have the same pin at the corner that is along the breadth of the rectangle, and the two pins, I mean the pins, are they, they overlap on two sides. Okay, the same pin overlaps on, on the two sides, which is the length and also the breadth. So it doesn't mean that there are two pins at this corner. It means there's only one pin, but, but, but there's an overlapping, right? The pin falls on, okay, the corner pin falls on where? The corner pins falls on this length, one side, and also on this side as well. So which means that there's only one pin actually, okay? So you have to remember to remove, okay? Remove the, the extra pins, which are not supposed to be there, <laughs> okay? All right, so that's how you do gaps and intervals, which is a very simple method. Uh, not very commonly, not very, it's not a very common kind of question that you will always see in the exam. Uh, but still, you have to understand how to, how to use this method, how to find the gaps, and how to use the gaps to find how many pins, and uh, also how to find the gaps if there are so many pins given to you, how do you find the gaps? Uh, and then, of course, you also need to know what is overlapping, and what do you do when you see overlapping. All right, so we are done with uh, this method. Uh, so stay tuned to the next to the next max heuristic lesson, and uh, we will look at another uh, another kind of method. Uh, so it's going to be quite interesting and uh, many things to learn. All right, and you will find that solving math is actually not very scary, uh, because you have all these ways, different ways of solving that helps to make uh, make your thinking easier. So you don't really have to think a lot if you understand the methods and you know how to apply. All right, so see you in the next math heuristic lesson.